plants are always surprising. They have strategies and secrets and relationships. I mean, probably one of the most surprising things that I think we're learning in the 21st century is we're learning to remember and to notice how interconnected everything is. And even in nature, if we just keep taking, you know, real world, three dimensional living models as our metaphor for what's happening on the, on the not yet embodied level, you know, then, um, uh, then we see, oh, we thought plants were plants and we didn't really have to know about them unless we were growing them or harvesting them or making something out of them for food or for practicality. We thought dirt was dirt and fungi, some weird kind of plants that we just generally don't like that much, you know, and like I'm talking very generally, but, and then we've like had to recognize, oh my gosh, they're actually all communicating with each other in chemical ways and physical ways and even audible ways, you know, all the time. And the soil is actually alive with untold numbers of species that are the little messengers between everything else, you know, and the fungi are playing this role that the plants and the fungi, neither one of them could exist without the other and, you know, on and on then into the insects and the animals and all of that, you know, and, 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 and so it's, it's um, such a good way of taking our, this, this particular animal, Homo sapiens, and our self-obsession, uh, which blinds us to everything else, and, and grounding us, literally grounding us. We're, we're so in our heads. We're so, you know, spinning out into thoughts and wishes and not being here now. And, um, and so that... Uh, that awareness and what we're learning about nature, if we pay attention to it, is like this is modeling how it really is, that everything is connected, everything is communicating, everything is, is relying on the awareness of everything else in order to function. And if we can remember that, I think it will shift our, our you know, hopes and fears, and, but also our actions. And, you know, what, what, it's widely known now that what we as a species have to a great degree forgotten is that we are one of those animals in that system and that because we have the gift of uh, minds and vision and language and hands, probably very much that, you know, um, that we have, that the, the price or the the for the privilege of having all these attributes is that we are stewards mm. and we have to remember that we're stewards and what does it mean to do? You can't steward things that you're not aware even exist, you know? And so how do we broaden that and find health for our species and all the members, all the different races and all the different classes and all of that of our species, but embedded in nature with that kind of awareness. And if, I find if I have that awareness, if I practice it, I have to remind myself regularly, daily, but if I practice that, then I have much more, I'm much more at peace with the story as it is going, the rocky, rocky story that we're living out. Mm -hmm.